What's going on people? Welcome back to the Shogun Ash channel and we've got another Pairs 2020 video for you. Now for those of you who didn't watch the North London Derby yesterday, it was an amazing match and an even more amazing performance from Gwenduzi. The young midfielder, he was absolutely all over the place, he was on bits and got himself an assist as well and was definitely my man of the match. So I thought, why not try and get a similar performance out of him on Pez 2020 and see how the game rates it. That's exactly what I did. So now, let's go see the results. So here we are at the New Sun Arena for this pre-season friendly between Juventus and Arsenal. Juve attacking down this right-hand side, Arsenal's left, and Dybala could be causing some problems here. Well, very good covering there from Gwenduzi. He finds Iwobi. Iwobi's in a bit of trouble here. Knocks it back and that's a dangerous ball. Dybala could shoot here. And a good save there from Leno. Good pressure from Gwenduzi. Juventus is still attacking here. It's a good ball in from the right and Leno picks that one up. Back up to Gwenduzi again who moves that on nice and quickly. Torreira. What can he do? Finds Gwenduzi. Passes that through the lines there. Aubameyang holds off one and just can't quite make it on the turn. Arsenal well, again start from the back with Leno. Boy, it's a class match. Socrates. Now Gwenduzi. He's had a pretty solid game so far. Ball into Aubameyang. Lacazette. Oh, it's a great flow and move this. Mkhitaryan now. Squares it to Aubameyang. Surely. There we go. 1-0. And that is some great football. You will not see a better team move today. Let's have a look at that again. Just great movement. Fluid, liquid stuff from Arsenal. Juve knocking it around the back dangerously there. And Torreira's picked that up. What can he do? Can he find a teammate? He can. He's found Lacazette who knocks it to Aubameyang. Oh, he's just... Played that a bit too much out of his reach. Gwendizi picks up the ball again in midfield and immediately starts an attack. Iwobi with some clever footwork there to get rid of one player. Aubameyang only really got one option in the box and that was never going to find him. Iwobi again on this left hand side. Cuts inside there. Good footwork again from him. Finds Gwendizi. Gwendizi looking for that direct line through the lines again. And Aubameyang again. Can't quite get that swivel working correctly. Uh, Arsenal got his corner to deal with. And nicely into the hands there of Leno. Straight out to Gwenduzi. Who can he find as he drives forward? Aubameyang now. Back out to Mkhitaryan who's already got one assist. Could this be a second? And that's a good challenge. But Mkhitaryan has come away with it. Could finish this for two. And that is wasted. Now Juventus going down this left hand side with Matuidi. It's got a bit of pace there, but Torreira's covering quite nicely. Leno has to make the save though. But the danger's not gone just yet. And Gwenduzi finally gets this out with a good pass into Lacazette. And this could start a counter-attack here. Albamiang blistering through. Can he get the shot away? He can. Oh, and that's just wide. Oh, so just trying to control these last few seconds and there we go at half time it is at 1-0 to Arsenal and Gwenduzi has had a pretty flawless half hasn't put a foot wrong and is leading in pretty much everything for both teams great half from the kid Leno now looking for an outlet here and he's going to go long to Aubameyang here he knocks it out to Hector Bellerin. Into Torreira. Gwenduzi now. Can he find an option? Kalasnach on the overlap. And that's dropped into Aubameyang here. Who misses out there. Gwenduzi makes the tackle though. What can he do? Clips a great ball into Aubameyang here. Oh, and that is a delightful finish. What an assist and what a finish from Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang. That's his second of the day. Gwenduzi bagging himself an assist as well. And perfectly timed. Look at this. Not even a sniff of offside. Juve now attacking down the right hand side. And we get that clear. Only as far as another Juve share. Ronaldo with an audacious effort. And had that gun in. That would have been special. 
Austin now getting out. You have been knocking on the door here. Mkhitaryan inside. And that's a great ball in for Aubameyang. He's through. Oh, and it's another chip. And Wojciech Szczesny really suffering at the hands of his old club here. Aubameyang with another phenomenal finish. I think it was Bonucci who stepped up to try and uh, intercept that because he knew he wasn't beating Aubameyang in a foot race. And uh, just couldn't quite get there in time. Arsenal know that this is very much job done as far as they're concerned. A great bit of dribbling there from Mustafi outside of the boot. And yet Bonucci caught slipping and a great dink from Aubameyang. Juve knocking it about. Still probing for a way back in this game. When you've got players of quality of Ronaldo and Dybala and Douglas Costa. You'll always fancy it, but that's a great interception there by Gwendouz to put an end to that. Ball clipped into Terrell. And back out to Klasnach now, Gwendouz. Who can he find? Nice sideways pass there to Terrell. Just keeping things moving nicely. It will be. Ball goes back out to Klasnach. He finds Gwendouz. Now there's another opportunity here. Oh, it's been blocked, I think. That might be the first pass he's misplaced all game. Here's Gwendouzi again. And oh, and that will be the second. Good interception again though. And that ball into Mkhitaryan there. Lacazette can shoot. And Juve really struggling to get this clear. Now Gwendouzi can have a pop. And he's, he's not hit that properly at all, has he? Now Arsenal got a corner. Could they get four before this game's over? No, it's Dr. Dybala, but there's no time for the counter-attack. That is 3-0. A very convincing victory there for Arsenal. Aubameyang will, of course, take all the plaudits in what was a completely dominant performance here by Arsenal. Completely controlled the game. And a 6.5 for Guendouzi is harsh. He's barely put a foot wrong. He only misplaced those two passes at the end. Other than that, got an assist. Got a shot on target as well. Two interceptions there. Got one out of two tackles. I can't believe that. That is an incredibly, incredibly harsh rate in there. For what was an absolutely phenomenal all-round performance. Aubameyang obviously got man of the match for his three goals. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, Mkhitaryan got a seven for his two assists. But other than those two assists, did absolutely nothing compared to Gwendouzi. Incredibly harsh rating. But we know Gwendouzi... Definitely the unsung hero today. Great performance.